Yes, that's right, folks. We went away for only two nights, and I have to make another Misadventures in Travel video. <laughs> okay, this video is affectionately going to be referred to as I would forget my head if it wasn't attached. <laughs> now, when you travel, sometimes you forget something, okay? Like maybe you forget your toothbrush or there was the time we went to Disney World and um, because it was literally on the heels of Andrew coming back late from his music trip to Dallas where they got stuck in the ice storm, I didn't have him here to help me pack and I forgot socks and deodorant and a razor, all of which were easily purchasable in the Disney Resort gift shop, okay? Some things you can't purchase. Um, my feeling is kind of my philosophy is, and then this depends on your type of trip, obviously, but if you, as long as you have money and as long as you have comfortable walking shoes and your passport, if you need your passport, you can buy whatever else you need. My parents forgot all their clothes one time when they were going on a trip and they didn't go back for them. They just bought clothes where they went. Um, I have twice now gotten almost to Minneapolis and realized we forgot something important at home. One time it was my credit card, which I needed because we were checking into a hotel and I had to have my credit card and we had to come all the way back and get it. And one time it was the tickets to a show we were going to at the Ordway Theater and we had to come all the way back. And no... The Ordway tickets, we were going to two shows that weekend. The Ordway tickets, we were able to replace. They could reprint them for us. But the next day, we were going to a Broadway show at the Orpheum, and we had to have those, which I don't even know if that was necessary because now Ticketmaster, it's all your ticket is your phone. They don't even let you print tickets anymore. But anyway, so occasionally you forget something when you're traveling, okay? But you really can't forget, like, the most important things, Okay. So we were taking this road trip, which you've seen in some of the videos I've been posting, and basically we did like a big circle of eastern Wisconsin. We drove from our home in western Wisconsin straight east to Green Bay, okay? We stayed overnight in a hotel in Green Bay. Then we drove um, to Manitowoc and did a couple things in Manitowoc, and then we drove down to Milwaukee, or rather south of Milwaukee, to Oak Creek, and stayed overnight there. We did not get to go to the lighthouse in Milwaukee because it happened to be closed that weekend and it was raining. So it wouldn't have been very pleasant to go to anyway. Um, ben and I are planning on going to that this coming weekend. So anyway, and then we drove to Whitewater um, to drop Megan off at her theater camp at the University of Wisconsin Whitewater and then we drove home. Okay, so we made like a big circle. Anyway, we were 20, 30 minutes east of our house when I asked Megan, did you remember to pack your glasses? And she didn't. Now, she doesn't actually need her glasses. She has a very slight eyeglass prescription. She's tried doing contacts and it just didn't work out for her. Um, she doesn't need them all the time. She has a very slight prescription for f nearsightedness. So when she's in school, for example, and she needs to see the board or see something on a screen, or when we're going to a play or going to a movie, she needs her glasses on. But for reading, she doesn't wear them. You know, she doesn't wear them on stage. So anyway, she was like, ah, oh, shoot. She, she's like, I meant to bring them because she kind of did want them with her. But she didn't think it was worth going back and adding an hour to our drive. And so she's like, I'll be fine, Mom. Just, it's okay. Never mind. So that was the first thing. Um, two hours later, maybe, a good long way from home, I suddenly, I don't know what made me think of it. No, I do know what made me think of it. Ben decided to lay down in the back seat and was getting all covered up with blankets that we keep in the car. And I went... like literal face palm, and I, I just got really quiet, because I was trying to be quiet, because Ben was sleeping, and Megan's like, what? And I said, we forgot all 
your bedding. <laughs> she was supposed to bring bedding for the camp. They're staying in the dorms at the University of Wisconsin Whitewater and she needed bedding for the bed. She needed sheets and a comforter and a pillow and all that. And we forgot all of it. I remember thinking that um, about it one time while we were packing because this was a little bit of a complicated pack because we were packing all three of us for the weekend for two nights and then she was packing for a week of camp in a separate suitcase. And so this was just, this wasn't your typical packing thing. And so we were, I was trying to keep that straight. And I think all I had in my head was we're staying in hotels because all I was doing was staying in hotels. I'm not staying in the norms. And so I thought of it once while we were packing and then it just like flew out of my brain and I forgot all about it. So we realized, oh crud. So we're going to have to make a target run or whatever because I'm not going all the way home now for this stuff. So anyway, um, that was the second thing. Um, we got to Green Bay, we stayed overnight, that was, it, it just rained and rained and rained this whole weekend. Um, not at home, but we're, in eastern Wisconsin, it was just nonstop rain. And then, um, we went to Manitowoc on Saturday morning, we went to the Wisconsin Maritime Museum, we were there for quite a while, we walked out on the jetty into the lighthouse and saw the car ferry come in. That was just total lucky timing. And second lucky timing was we got back to the car, which you'll see in Ben's video if I ever get it to work. I'm having trouble with that one um, that he took. And we got in the car and it literally started pouring. <laughs> and it poured for hours after that. And so that was really lucky. And then we went to lunch at a noodles and company in Manitowoc out by the freeway. And then we were driving from Manitowoc to Milwaukee, which is about an hour and a half drive. Okay. Again, Ben had gone to sleep in the back of the car and we were almost to Milwaukee. I mean, we had been driving since we left the noodles for at least an hour. I mean, we were like by Port Washington. If you look at a map, you'll see how far that is. And I whispered in kind of motion to Megan, my lips were chapped and I have soft lips in my purse all the time. And so I kind of motioned to her, can you get me my soft lips? And she like nodded and she went to get it out of my purse, which I always keep at her feet in the car, either at her feet or I keep it around the back of the seat in the back seat on the floor. And she looked and it wasn't there. And she turned around and we both looked in the back and it wasn't there. And I total panic. If there's one thing you don't want to lose, it's your purse or your wallet. And I suddenly realized what had happened. I had left it on the back of my chair at Noodles. And I usually do hang my purse on the back of my chair because I don't want to put it on the floor. Or maybe I'll put it on like the extra chair. And I know why this happened. It was pouring. And so I had my keys, my car keys in my hand because all I was thinking about was we need to get out to the car quickly and I want to get us in the car quick. We don't have a remote for this car. For some reason, when I bought this car last November, it didn't come with a remote. The previous owner didn't turn it in or whatever. So I literally only have the key to open the door. So I had my keys in my hand. I usually put my keys in my purse. And so... If my keys are in my purse and I forget my purse, we're not going to forget my purse because we can't get into the car. But because it was raining, I had taken my keys out. I think I even think I even just had them in my jacket pocket. And so I had them in my hand and I was just thinking about we got to run to the car because we're going to get drenched, which we did. And we got in the car, we shut the doors, we drove away. And I just completely forgot that my purse was on the back of the chair. So anyway, I panicked. Megan immediately looked up the number for the noodles in Manitowoc and called them. And I'm, my heart was just pounding because, I mean, everything was in my purse. I had a lot of cash. All three of my credit cards were in there. Um, I had about three or $400 in quick trip gas cards in there. Um, we've been buying those from Megan's teacher that's um, leading the group to Europe next year. And we get a portion of the 
quick trip cards that script cards that we buy um, goes toward her Euro trip fund. And I had, you know, all my membership cards and our insurance cards and pictures and all that stuff. I did have my phone. My phone was in the car. I must have had it in my hand. Or I had it in my other jacket pocket or something. But I had my phone. Um, so anyway, she called the noodles right away. And they had it. Whew. But this still meant that I now had to turn around and drive an hour all the way back to the noodles. And drive another, and then, you know, I just added two hours to my drive time, which was exactly what I was trying to avoid on this trip. I didn't want to do the whole seven hours in one day thing. It ended up being like five. <laughs> but anyway, we got all the way back to the noodles, then slept that entire time. So when he wakes up, we're back at the noodles, and he's like, what? <laughs> so anyway, after I went in, oh, this was funny. I go in to get my purse. And the guy asked me to describe it, and he's like, yes, that's correct, and he brings it out to me. And he said, that was the second one that day. <laughs> that was the second purse somebody had forgotten that day. So that's freaky. But anyway, then I was kind of tired from driving now, because now I'd basically just driven two hours. And I, didn't, I was just kind of irked because, oh, and then this was funny. We had planned to go to that lighthouse in Milwaukee, and I was really bummed because the lighthouse closed at four. And now because we had to go all, we were like literally just gonna make it and have like less than an hour to see this lighthouse on the original jaunt. But now because I had to go back and get my purse, it was gonna be closed by the time we got back to Milwaukee. Well, the first thing Megan was saying, which was a very good point, is mom, it wouldn't, I don't think we would have wanted to go anyway. It's pouring down rain, which it was. And it was still pouring down rain when we got to Milwaukee. So we wouldn't have wanted to go anyway. But anyway, I looked up the hours because I was trying to figure out if there was a way that we could go this coming weekend when we go back down to get Megan. And as I'm looking at it, I'm like, hmm, well, let's see if we do this. Da, da, da. And then I'm like, oh, I see now why all the hotels were um, booked in Milwaukee. There's a air and boat show or something in Milwaukee this weekend. That's why everything's booked. And I said, and in fact, the lighthouse is closed. <laughs> so the lighthouse was closed anyway because of this big show they were having in Milwaukee. And so maybe planes or I don't know what it was. But anyway, I was like, oh my gosh, we would have hurried all that way to Milwaukee and then the thing wouldn't have been open anyway. And it's raining. So it was all fine with not getting to go to the lighthouse because we wouldn't have been able to go anyway. It was closed. But, um... Then, since I didn't want to drive right away, we went to the Walmart that was a little ways down the road, and I managed to get a sheet, a pillowcase, a pillow, and a comforter for Megan for 33 bucks. <laughs> so, that was cool. So, I'm like, okay, that's it. We got some bedding now. And then we went back on our way, and we drove all the way to Oak Creek to where our hotel was, and I'm going to be posting a review of that hotel. And then the next morning, we took Megan to camp, got there right on time. And then Ben and I came home. So that was this episode of Misadventures in Travel. So I guess um, my lesson to you on this one is, you know, and I used to do checklists. And sometimes, like, for this camp and stuff, there's checklists. And we did have one. And I still forgot the bedding. But, like, when you're packing, it's sometimes helpful to have a checklist. We're pretty professional on packing. I mean, my kids have this down to a science. I don't have to tell them anything anymore. They know everything they need to have in their suitcase. We keep our toiletry bags packed at all times in our bathroom cupboard. So literally we can just grab it and go. Um, you know, maybe we have to add like our pills in there or something. But uh, they know, they. I didn't have to remind them. They brought all the right stuff. They knew how many, they just asked me how many days. And they know to pack the outfits. They never, they forget, they get their underwear, their socks. They ask if they should bring a swimsuit or not. That's about it. They know how to, pack for pajamas, they bring books, you know, they're very good about it. And like, even like checking out of a hotel, I was thinking this time when we were checking out of the one in Green Bay, I mean, we were so efficient out of there. They were packed up. We kind of pack as we get ready in the morning and then we roll out of there. We're each pulling our own little, you know, overnight suitcase and we go straight to the car. I don't even have to say anything to them. They, they know how to do it so well. So it really takes a lot of work off of me. Um, and, and we're just good at it. We've just packed so much, you know, we know exactly what's going to fit in which suitcase and all that stuff. So 
I don't really need a, a checklist anymore, but the bedding was an unusual thing because of the camp. And I was thinking we're staying in hotels and the glasses, that was a, that was just a goof on Megan. She didn't have them on. And so I just don't think she was thinking about it. Um, but the purse, I've never done that. I've never left my purse. Ah, uh, I think I left it like, I've left it like in the movie theater seat, but I didn't get out of the theater. I mean, I got out in the hall and realized, oh, I don't have my purse. I've never left it and gotten that far away before. I've never left it at home. So I, I really think it was just a combination of, I don't know, maybe I was tired from driving and the fact that I had my keys in my hand and we were running out to the car because it was raining. So after that, I was very cognizant of leaving my keys in my purse. So there was no way we could go anywhere without my purse because I, the keys were in it. So anyway, be careful. <laughs> Don't forget stuff. That would have really, really sucked if my purse had been stolen. <laughs> we would have had to go home because I would have had no way to pay for the hotel. Um, I mean, maybe they would have checked me because they already had my credit card on file, but I doubt it. I would have had no money for food. I would have had no way to pay for gas. We wouldn't have made it home. I mean, I, I got gas three times on this trip. So, yeah, we would have had to go home and it would have been a major bummer. <laughs> so, anyway, that was this adventures, this episode of Misadventures in Travel. And I really hope I don't have to do any more. <laughs> but you never know. Okay, guys, thanks very much for watching and safe travels.